What do we have here? Hey guys, Cody from Quick Play here, and today I have a very exciting review. We have a Rhino Triple Shop. Let's go ahead and get into it. All right, guys, what we got here is the Monster Stand. It is a strong, heavy metal. That's got some weight to it. Let's go ahead and put this together. This is single-handedly the easiest piece, and uh, it's always best to start from the ground up, so that's what we're gonna go ahead and do here. Quite a bit of rotations here. This is uh, going in pretty deep. There we go. And next, let's go ahead and bolt this up to the head. All right, everybody. We're gonna go ahead and start out by tightening these two bolts here at the top corners of the machine. Now, you can do these down here, as you can see. However, I do suggest you do it from the outside of the machine. It's gonna be a lot easier that way. And if you don't decide to put them in, that's okay. That's not gonna hinder any of the security to this machine. So we're gonna go ahead and tighten these down. All right, guys, as you can see here, we have the two bolts tightened down. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and put this flange on. Now, again, this flange has uh, eight holes in total, nine if you're a complete jerk right here but we're gonna go ahead and tighten this guy down and we'll be set now notice guys i'm doing this from the inside and uh flipping it upside down like this and having gravity work to your advantage really helps with this flange part um i've seen a lot of people put these together and it seems like they make these things a whole lot harder than it has to be uh, i've put together enough of these now that i've kind of made it into a uh a science of sorts all right guys and as you can see there's this little hole in here and what that can do for you is it's a security feature because if you have this bolt on right here there's no way to get this bolt off. So if I were to take this off and put this back on, uh, just a pilot hole, put on the, uh, the, the pole that it's gonna stand on and screw that in, it's gonna tighten down to the stand and uh, I can put that pole back on and it's not gonna go anywhere and you can be sure that it's not gonna come off in any way. All right guys, let's go ahead and put this head onto the stand. A twist. This is clockwise, of course, and it's going to go down quite a ways. So spin, spin, spin. Tighten it on there. All right, guys. There you have it. Very nice. Looking good. All right, guys, now we have the inside opened, and as you can see inside here is where the candy goes. And I just want to touch a little bit about the differences between a candy mech and a gumball mech, guys. There's a big difference between the two, and I feel like there's a lot of misconceptions out there. Short and sweet, you can adjust a candy mech, and a gumball mech is just one size fit all. You're just going to put your average gumball inside, and it's going to bend it. Alright guys, this is the review of the Rhino Triple Shot. Now let's see how much these things can make on route. Alright guys, first location, we are here at a car detailing business. And this one we hit quite frequently because we have to. 
it does pretty well for us uh, as you can see the skittles are looking pretty scarce and as you can see too this is a machine just like the one i built for you on camera the only difference being is it has the chrome stand which is really cool i think it looks pretty slick uh it's a nice sharp look to it and it's uh it's a little different from what you usually see eli's gonna open the back and boom just like that guys this is a 10 day collection too so we're looking at 26 25 which is absolutely incredible with 10 candy machines doing that you'd be earning over 800 dollars a month and i mean that's not too much to ask for you know that's not a crazy amount and uh something else too buying these machines new from candymachines.com is well worth it because not only do they come with a full warranty but because they're never before used and uh that may not seem like a huge deal but uh the wear and tear on these things it's you know it's pretty taxing so you know full warranty plus you know having a new machine that's a uh that's a good idea in my book but we're off to the next location uh, which is a popular tire shop we have in town and uh, we have a triple shop like the one you saw and the one then and the ones they sell at candymachines.com but it's an older model with different mechs and uh, notice guys all these machines are metal compared to uh, like plastic machines such as Venstars, stars which I highly highly recommend that you steer clear from um, I've seen people lose lose their shirts over those kinds of machines and just look how it performs i mean yes vin stars work and and those plastic machines they do uh they, they'll do the job and they'll vent but they're also very manipulable um you can put fake quarters in there you can put cardboard quarters in there and you know they can take your uh, your candy without actually paying for it which is a real bummer and uh and it just sucks real bad when that kind of thing happens to you we're going to go ahead and scoot on over to walmart where as soon as we walk in you can see we have the same exact machine that we just saw in the previous clip and it is looking pretty low some jokester put a uh a uh, sticker on the machine so that's just that's just great and uh the gumballs are low though the skittles are looking pretty low and the peanut M&Ms are about half, which is pretty awesome. Uh, these babies still earn as one made 32.50 in one month, and it's a uh, it's a great it's a you know it's it's so passive and it's so awesome. So that was our last location. Eli's gonna go ahead and open this guy up, and uh, we'll see how much this one made. And uh, let's turn her around and see what's inside. All right, guys, we are looking at 3475 in just two weeks. Absolutely amazing. Just look at him shovel out all of those quarters. And uh, it's uh, it's pretty low on uh, gumball machines. We or gumballs. We actually didn't bring any with us. Luckily, we have a storage unit in the area and we have a bunch of uh, product in there. So took a took a quick drive over to the storage unit and we got this guy filled up Eli's famous tilt and she's looking pretty good just a little low on gumballs and guys uh, comment down below uh, what your favorite bulk vending machine is and if you have a vending machine business we'd love to know and see you guys real soon in the next video goodbye